Today I'm going to show you how to calculate cell confluency using ImageJ. So firstly, you want to Google ImageJ uh, and then just click on the first result. And then you want to click Run ImageJ in Browser. Let it load. So once you're in ImageJ, you want to go to File, Open, select Local File, and find the file that you want to um, check the cell confluency on. I'm going to be using this image as an example. I'm going to put it in the description if you want to use the same image. So here, our first step is, is we're going to change the image type to 16-bit. And you just go to Image, Type, 16-bit. And this will make the image gray scale um, so it's easy to work with. Next, you want to go to Image, Adjust, Brightness and Contrast. And you're just going to mess around with it uh, until the cells are visible, but background in blemishes aren't. So really just want to make it pop out more so it's easier to uh, work with. Something about here works pretty well, but again, you can mess around with it until you find something you like. So when we're done with messing around with it, I found something about this works out. Um, and then we're just going to go on to the next step. So next we're going to subtract the image background and you can do this by going to process, just clicking subtract background. You want to change the rolling ball radius to 20 pixels and you want to select preview as well. Next, we're going to select the image threshold um, and you can do this by going to adjust and then threshold. Make sure this top bar is all the way back at zero and you basically just mess up the bottom one until the red covers the cells fully. It'll look somewhere around this will be fine. Now, if you keep going, you'll see that the whole thing will eventually turn red, but you don't want that. You just want the cells to be covered pretty much. Find something around there. If there's a little bit of cells um, coming up, it's okay. You just want to get somewhere around there. You want to hit apply. Next, you're going to separate the image overlaps, and you can do this by going to process, binary, and clicking watershed. Next, you're going to go to analyze. You're going to go to set measurements. Once you have that opened up for the measurements, you want to go to area, standard deviation, min and max gray value, area fraction, mean gray value, perimeter and median, and then you're just going to hit OK. As you can see, it will change the image slightly, and that's perfectly fine. This is what you want. Next, you're going to carry out the cell count, and you can do this by going to Analyze, Analyze Particles. Once you have this open, you want to make sure you type in 100 to infinity. Once you type that in, you want to make sure that show is set to outlines and that these boxes are checks. Display results, summarize, and include holes. And then you want to hit OK. As you can see, what comes up here, you have the count, the total area, the average size, the percent area, the mean, and all the stuff we checked off earlier. Now what you want to do is you want to go to File, Save As, and then type whatever you need to do. I'm going to name it as, well, number two, as I already did this before on my computer. You also want to save the drawing, um, which is this thing right here. And you want to go to File, Save as, JPEG. Um, and then it will basically, by default, show you the name of the file that you took. And then you just want to hit OK. And it will bring you to your image. Now you want to updo upload the files you just got to your folder. As you can see, we have the drawing and then the, the text box. And I'm going to upload these to Google Drive. Once you're in Drive, you want to go to File Upload um, and just select the two things. You can do this by holding Control and then clicking on the two things. Um, and this should add your two things to Google Drive. And um, yeah, that's basically it with this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to ask me. Um, thank you for watching.